While the football team stumbled this weekend, the soccer team continued its perfect season, defeating Winona State 2-1 yesterday. The Beavers sit at 8-0 this season and 5-0 in the conference. It's been a full team effort, their first in goals scored and tied for second in the conference in goals allowed. Head coach Jim Stone says it's been a perfect storm leading to their hot start. I think we've had good leadership. Uh, I think we had some confidence going into the season um, where we had a belief uh, that we could be good and I think we've been you know relatively healthy so I think those three things have enabled us to kind of get a good uh, good start to the season. Offensively they've been led by the duo of Rachel Norton and Allison Smith. Norton leads the NSIC with eight goals scored and Smith scored three times this weekend to be named NSIC Offensive Player of the Week. I think they were already coming in with a good understanding of how each other play and a good foundation of um, knowing what the other person is thinking and um, it's one of those things where it you know, should only get better and, and it did and hopefully it continues to. A big credit to my teammates, you know, every goal I score, every, every goal the team scores starts from defending and so if we don't have good defending and a good build up and the hard work for my teammates, like I don't get goals, I don't get the credit. They were ranked 12th in last week's coaches poll, the highest in program history, but they're not too focused on what others are saying about them. Honestly, we don't really focus on it. It's cool to be ranked, it's cool to, but the biggest thing is we gotta look forward to our next game. Our next game is the biggest game of the year, so we just gotta take it one game at a time and not to think too far ahead into the future. Beavers will be back at home this weekend hosting Sioux Falls on Friday afternoon. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.